Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Keeping It RE. This is our first official podcast. I'm Paul Carney. And I'm Chad Arnold. And today we're here with the Tyson's Partnership. We have Megan Trossen and Drew Sunderland. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. It's awesome having the Tyson's Partnership. We're really excited about this because, as everybody knows, we do a lot of work in the Tyson's market. And just having the professionals here that know everything about Tyson's is going to be great for our listening audience because there's a lot happening in Tyson's today. Right? Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you all being huge cheerleaders for Tyson. Yeah, we, champions. We, uh, we are. We were just talking about it. I mean, we're, we're huge believers in the Tyson's market from a location standpoint, from a business perspective, mm -hmm. um, from a residential standpoint with the future developments, which we'll touch on a little bit. So um, excited to have you guys here and, and we can dig right in. Yeah, I think one of the things that I wanted to point out, a lot of people don't realize it. Correct me if I'm wrong on the exact number, but Tyson's is the 13th largest city in the country in terms of office space mm -hmm. is yeah. that right measured on an office, office yeah. yeah the commercial office larger than many central business districts absolutely right? yeah and not only that i mean one one aspect of, of that and we vacillate between the 12th and, and 13th um competing with a lot of major markets that's before tyson's doubles in size from a square footage standpoint and then on top of that you're looking at a lot of other metro regions that are actually shrinking in terms of their office uh, inventory so sure I mean, the fact that we're already there just at the very beginning of this redevelopment process and then we're about to double that number is, is really to me mind-blowing and my third caveat for that is that actually on that whole list of the top 20 we're the only non-city Tyson's is not a city or a town, it's a census designated place, so there's no governmental body right. overseeing it. So the fact that we're already at that level without having the you know government yeah. backing behind it is huge. Yeah. yeah, many people don't realize it's just a sub-market yeah. within the Northern Virginia market, which is a DC, Washington DC suburb. Well, we, we like to say that actually DC is a sub-market of Tyson's. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. so, Tyson's is cool. Yeah. Well, well once, it, once it doubles, it might, yeah, might end right. up that way. Yeah, well, it might yeah. end up that way, that's right. <laughs> well, let's, uh, first of all, I want to know what, tell our listeners, what is the Tyson's Partnership? Sure, so, so we're a nonprofit that was formed in 2012, and basically our mission high level is to make Tyson's a 24-7 live or play destination. We're closely with the real estate community, large employers, Fairfax County, the residential properties, to have that cohesion for that high level, thoughtful approach to urbanization. And we're looking at Tyson's, uh, the growth of it will develop eight new neighborhoods coming out of Tyson's. And mm -hmm. so it's a really exciting time to basically have a voice in the future um, related to the conference of plan for the redevelopment of Tyson's. I, I love what you said about the live, work, play. We hear that all the time because we have clients that are looking for that. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we have clients that they want their staff close. They want a place to go to lunch, a place to grab coffee, happy hour after work, live, work, play. Right. Are there different markets in the country or maybe sub-markets in the region that Tyson's is looking to mirror in a way? Uh, well, I think, I mean, Tyson's historically has been an edge city. So it was, its, it's origins was in basically price per square foot, too expensive in downtown. Um, the need to get lots, uh, large swaths of, swaths of land for both, you know, the, the mall that was, uh, that was constructed in the 60s, but then also these corporate office parks. So it was really intended to be a very specific development of, um, of mostly businesses and then also retail, which became an incredible success in just, you know, four decades. It, it became a, a, a place that, um, in addition to having some of the largest and, and most uh, successful malls in the, in the country and then also the world, um, it became this incredibly, as we just touched on, a successful business district where you had, uh, at that point, I believe there were four fight Fortune 500 uh, headquarters that were in Tyson's. AOL was in the Tyson's area in the 90s. And so there was this realization that, wow, there's this incredible success, incredibly successful urban area that's not really constructed to be a sustainable uh, residential market, um, and there's a great opportunity there to, to redevelop uh, around the addition of this, you know, massive silver line that was also being right. constructed to be this mixed use, um, live, work, play, 24/7, you name it, uh, type urban environment. Um, and that's really what our organization is heavily involved in. Um, as a, you know, going to Megan's point about how there is no municipal structure, Tyson's is not incorporated. Our, our organization serves as a collaborative uh, platform that works with you know, the primary stakeholders in Tyson's, but then also Fairfax County government to usher this redevelopment plan. It's a 35-year uh, plan uh, to ensure that we're able to realize that vision of that live, live work, play environment. 
And just to add to like sort of the pure market perspective, I mean, I really view Tyson's as the Silicon Valley of the East, especially with what's happening all the way out in Loudoun. Absolutely. And Tyson's is the downtown central district of that, and then DC sort of comparable to San Francisco in that regard. Sure. But But it is unprecedented. I mean, that's that's really what. I mean, that's not just a talking point. There are very few examples of a what was intended to be an office park market yeah. being transformed into a premier downtown. Not just like, you know, an okay downtown, premier downtown where Capital One is coming, buying property, saying this is such a great investment that we're gonna develop our own property and build the biggest building in the entire region. There's just no, there's no comparable. Um, and so it's uh, it's exciting, but it's also daunting because it's like you can't steal off someone else's notes, really. You right. know? Yeah. Um, right, but, uh, and Tyson's is often criticized for, you know, Everybody was, it wasn't laid out well from right. the beginning, mm-hmm. but like you said, it wasn't intended to right. be what it's becoming, right? Right. right? Exactly. So now you're, it, it is what it is. So mm-hmm. everybody just has to work around that. And, right. you know, we get a lot of knocks about traffic. Mm-hmm. When we talk to our clients about moving from Arlington or moving from Reston, they're terrified of the Tyson's traffic. And I got to tell you, I've been working in Tyson's for 15 years since I got into this business. I think the traffic is flowing as well or better today than it has ever, and there's a lot more people. So they've really kind of done a pretty good job considering, I mean, you go to any major metropolitan area, you're any city, traffic. you're gonna have traffic. And, you know, I think the metro was huge in that, but even prior to that, the hot lanes mm-hmm. running all the way down to Alexandria and, and back has been really helpful with the traffic. And we get that, like Chad said all the time, clients say, ah, Tyson's the traffic in December. It's like, are you gonna make a business decision about just a couple months around the mall traffic, which is really only just a few crossroads in and around that mall. Mm -hmm. You know, Route 7 could get jammed up, but you know, from the traffic, from from a macro perspective in the market, I don't think is any worse than, than D.C. or parts of Arlington. Oh, or, absolutely. Geez, even parts of uh, Loudoun County, Route 28, can get jammed mm-hmm. up, too. So mm-hmm. I think Tyson's has gonna, done a really good job in implementing traffic patterns mm-hmm. that have worked for the for the commuters. Right. Thank yeah, you. that's Appreciate huge. That. You're welcome. Yeah. And I, um, just to add on our sort of take of transportation, I mean, we have a huge role working as the Transportation Management Association for Tyson's, and we were instrumental in bringing Capital Bike Share to Tyson's in 2016 and offering these Which was awesome. Tyson's Awesome, by the yeah. way. We Thank need the you. scooters. Yeah. We, when are we going to get the scooters? <laughs> yeah, great, because that would be huge for yeah. tours. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and it's really all about having ways that people, not necessarily just the commute, but how to get around for lunchtime, for mm-hmm. your errands, for your meetings, right. and, yeah. and not have to rely on your car for every form of transportation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And just to touch on the infrastructure bit a little bit, um, you know, obviously every stakeholder in the county and uh, the state even understand that Yes, the infrastructure grid to support a healthy and sustainable transportation system in Tyson's was not constructed from the get-go because it wasn't, as you uh, highlighted, it wasn't intended to be a downtown urban area. However, as part of the comprehensive redevelopment process, that was really the backbone, is how are we going to solve this transportation, um, uh, creating a a more sustainable uh, transportation ecosystem from an infrastructure standpoint, but then also from a service standpoint. Every single developer, as part of their uh, plans, is required to contribute financially uh, to an urban streets fund, which basically is going to overlay a grid of streets on Tyson's, which is a four square mile area. There's going to be a grid of streets, which will be good for traffic, it'll be good for pedestrian. um, Privately uh, funded. And and privately funded, right. And then also there's service enhancements, so more buses, capital bike share. Um, so a broadening of the, a vast broadening of the infrastructure, but then also a concerted effort in the behavior modification side of transportation. Look at Metro. We've got Metro there. We've had it there for you know four years, uh, give or take. But it takes some time to train people to use it, right. to rely on Metro. And to so, understand it. Yep, yeah, exactly. Right. right. Getting yeah. from point to point. It's right. not intuitive, just like the parking situation often. Right. You know, you park somewhere and then how to get there, like, right. like where the Tyson Tower is. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So kind of that sort of brings us to our next question. So why, given the history of Tyson's, right, mm-hmm. was there such a massive push to redevelop Tyson's? Like what sparked this whole thing? Mm-hmm. I think it really was started by this uh, um, accident, the accidental success of Tyson's economically. Um, I mean, it, it is the um, economic engine of Virginia. I mean, like I said, just from a, a you know, just name the five 
Fortune 500 companies that are there, you know, Capital One, Hilton, uh, help me out here, Freddie right. Mac, um, DXC, DXC the new one, and Booz yeah. as well. And then, you know, anytime you hear about a major corporate HQ2 search, I mean, there are three properties in Tyson's that are always mentioned as a pop possible destination. So, sure. you know, the, the direct adjacency to DC, um, I mean, there, there's so many things that, uh, uh, so many amenities close to airport access that there was this understanding that the massive void from the residential side and then also the retail side outside of the malls created a tremendous opportunity to create a downtown area that was directly adjacent to all these amenities, but also successful communities in McLean, Vienna, um, and become a, a sub-market of D.C. Right. Um, and that's what we're in the process of doing. Well, I know Virginia wins a lot of these big HQs, mm -hmm. like Northrop Grumman, like Bechtel, mm -hmm. and Amazon, yep. the big one that everybody's yeah. talking about Nestle. recently, yeah. Nestle. Yeah. And it's in large part due to the fact that Virginia is such a business-friendly state. It is. Right? When you look at this immediate, this is one big market, right? It just sort of melts mm -hmm. Virginia, Northern Virginia, D.C., and Maryland. But they're separate individual entities, so yeah. Virginia really kind of wins out, yeah. fortunately. And, and it's just the region, way. I mean, the high caliber of potential employees with like the most educated region in the entire country. I mean, it's an incredibly uh, deep market from uh, from an employer standpoint. Um, right. You know, Amazon's got, I guess, 20,000 jobs it has to hire, but it's coming to you know, one of the strongest job markets in the entire country. Yeah, it was just awesome. Yeah. For all of us here. Right. Yeah. So speaking of Virginia, an interesting stat I heard the other day. Um, so Tyson's contributes uh, a quarter of the whole tax revenue for all of Fairfax County, which the county is the 10th largest in the nation. And then Fairfax County contributes a quarter of all of the tax revenue for all of Virginia. Wow. The Commonwealth. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I mean, huge drivers. Yeah. Right there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. So, so what's to come in Tyson's? What's next? What's on the development horizon? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously the borough mm -hmm. is the talk of the town right now. Everybody's yep. talking about the borough. Um, and what's happening there. So maybe touch on the borough a little bit and then what's to come beyond. Yeah. So th what we like to talk about, because again, there's uh, a misconception about Tyson's that Tyson's itself is like one project. Like Tyson's, you compare to the wharf. Mm -hmm. So the wharf is, uh, I think, believe now it's 1.5 million, will eventually be 3 million square feet. So the area around the, the McLean Metro alone will be home to 18 million square feet of new development. So that is just a small portion of what's going on in Tyson's. Tyson's is actually the emergence of eight different districts, each of which has millions and millions of square feet, totaling to over 50 million of new, undelivered at this point, um, construction. So when we talk about like individual projects, it's kind of like looking at the trees you know, rather than the forest. You're talking about the emerging neighborhoods. So the borough is an anchor of the neighborhood that's around that Greensboro Metro. But then you also have like Folger Pratt and, and Lumen del delivering buildings that are all directly adjacent to the borough. Sure. And are you know tens of millions of square feet in total um, <coughs> in those various neighborhoods. And those neighborhoods are then starting to develop fields to them. There's a pop-up right. there that we were uh, helpful in, in activating. It was a massive mural, the largest mural by a single artist in all of DC, just a quick plug there. But then yeah. also a beer garden. Talk about the Tyson Beer Garden. Tyson yeah. 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 Tyson yeah. Beer right. there, which is a temporary thing. But, but it's cool. But on yeah. fight night, like so, on fight night on Saturday night at twelve o'clock, like midnight on Saturday night, two thousand people go there to watch like whatever UFC fight or the Mayweather really? fight. Really, it's incredible. We have pictures of it to prove if you, if people don't believe. But like, wow. that's really what's emerging is this like are these neighborhoods, not just these individual projects. Do you know what the beer garden used to be before it was the beer garden? <laughs> well, I'm, gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a hint. This is trivia for you. It was the largest blank in the DC metropolitan area. I can't do it. I don't want to say it on uh, no, no, it's I don't I don't know what it was. <laughs> Megan, I'll leave this one to you. I'll let Megan say it. Um the largest adult movie store. Video store, yes, that's correct. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Yeah, so, yeah that's so interesting. Yeah. I never yeah. saw that. But, but driving down Route Seven, <laughs> but, from a, but from a place four hundred times a week. <laughs> but from a, this is actually a good example of like what our organization is really. We're not the ones that are building the buildings. We're not the ones that are passing the code. Right. We are the ones that are saying, all right, stakeholders, of which we have roughly fifty on our board. They're the ones that are really doing the investment, and then also the county, you know, with the regulatory side and and public funding side. What we do is say, how do we? How are we going to create community here? Like, right. Among all these new developments and. 
one thing that we noticed uh, when we were looking at all these be big, beautiful new metro stations is you get off and you're like, oh my god, like vacant adult video store, big blank concrete wall. At like, the Bruce right. Allen headquarters. Yeah, yeah right. Event. Like, right. welcome to Tyson. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's where... Industrial. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But, but like, if we're here trying to sell people on the vision for Tyson's, which is very real. I mean, the, Tyson's is a matter of when, not if. Like, this is approved development, and it's already in process. What we really need to do is get people engaged now and understand this evolution. And you know, what better way to do it than to do an urban beautification, mm -hmm. a massive wall, and then a place where people can get this like new experience that Tyson's is becoming, at, like a right. beer garden. And a de new destination. Exactly. So what was the population of Tyson's Corner prior to the Tyson's partnership starting sure. up, and what is it yeah. now? Because yeah. you look everywhere, lately, aside the borough aside, but for a while there, if there was a crane up, it was high-rise, multifamily, yep. apartments, condos. Mm -hmm. So what has the population become and where was it? So when the comprehensive plan was created in 2010, the residential population was 17,000 and um, employees 100,000. And I mentioned the comprehensive plan because that's sort of what um, the origin of the Tyson's partnership stemmed from that. Now it's roughly 22,000 residents, mm -hmm. 120 thousand employees. By the time the comprehensive plan will be complete, it will be 100,000 residents, 200,000 employees. So that's why when you think of the live, work, play elements, the economy will, you know, double in size, but the residential, you know, multiplier from 17,000 to 100, it's really having those amenities that mm -hmm. it, um, residents are looking for and the activation and art and culture and placemaking. That's right. And that's really what drives the 24-7 lifestyle mm -hmm. exactly. is the residents. Yep. Absolutely. You know, you can't draw people to Tyson's. It's it's like a couple other markets that we've seen where 5 o'clock, people punch out and they yep. go home. Yeah. It's a ghost town. Yep. Right. But when you get the residents, then the retailers start to mm -hmm. follow when you have the beer gardens yep. with 2,000 people, yep. and you have the nightlife, and you have the restaurants, yep. and then you start to get more things that Tyson's maybe yep. wouldn't have had in the past without the residential, right? And I thought, so, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, and just one um, comment to that, I mean, something that's a recent success story, so we've all seen the big Cirque du Soleil tent mm -hmm. in Tyson's that is oh, yeah. every yeah. other awesome. summer at the Lerner Town Square yes. campus. So they um, usually Cirque will come for like three or four nights to a location. I don't know if you've seen it at MGM or at the Capital One Arena. So they're there for eight weeks in Tyson's and they see Tyson's as a market and they're actually looking to extend their contract and they're supposed to come back every other year. They're coming back again this year. Yes. So coming in back early back. in July. Back to back mm -hmm. years. Back, back to back yeah. years. And so it's Cirque, you know, obviously an international brand sees Tyson's as one of their key markets. Huge. Yeah. And that's speaking to, you know, the weekend crowds, the matinees, the the evening crowds. It's not just the employees. Yeah, yeah well, we, sorry. Go well, ahead. I just wanted to say real quick, I mean, residents obviously it, it, it is a huge focus for us and then also is a, is a population that really hasn't been that large of a population in Tyson's historically. But employees are a huge part of the puzzle as well because we joke, there's kind of this Fred Flintstone mentality in Tyson's now, like five o'clock bell rings, you have a yeah, day right. to cool <laughs> you out, right? And, and then that, that's also causing a lot of traffic because everyone's getting on the road at the same of time. Of course. That's why Chad and I head to Earl's at like 5 p.m. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. But, miss traffic. But so, in many Earl's. cases, yeah. especially, my shameless Earl's plug. Yeah, right. Well, they, they appreciate it. Maybe they're right. 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 We're there right. enough. So. Yeah, right. No, we'll no host kidding. The, we'll host the next podcast. We'll, we'll from, put in a good word for Earl's bar. There you go. But friendly Canadians. Yeah. Especially in this market because we're so overworked. There's some people who spend more time in the area in which they work than they do at their home. So yeah. even even those oh, employees who don't live in Tyson's, they might be here more than the actual residents, and you know they're the ones that are going to the happy hours. They're the ones that, on the, in the daytime when we're there primarily, are engaging with us in our programs, our councils, and you know the charity uh, initiatives that we have. Taking care of the amenity or taking advantage of the amenities and all the events exactly. that, that the. That Tyson's Absolutely. has to offer. Selling yeah. Tyson's, right. acting as ambassadors. So sure. I mean, we've had a we've had a very you know uh, a focused approach working with employees um, because they're so vital and they also enjoy the process. They it's, it's fun to be part of something that's like building and it's fun to know that you are a stakeholder, perhaps not you know a, a financial stakeholder, but you're a stakeholder as like you know I was there when yeah, that place was emerging. You're part of the that's ship, right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It, you yeah. know something that Chad and I always talk about, and this is interesting. I'd be 
interested to know what your take is on this. And this might be selfishly because our we office at a Tyson's Tower sure. right next to the mall. Yeah. And we always refer to that as the heart of Tyson's, the yeah. center of gravity in mm-hmm. Tyson's. Best location in Tyson's Corner. Best location. Yes. I mean, yeah. but, right but, that, but that might be speaking, as you see these developments happen, the mm-hmm. borough and some of these mm-hmm. other developments, does that trend shift the center of gravity yeah. in Tyson's and when do you see that happening or does it start to open up you know multiple pockets of popularity yep. rather than what we see now as oh we're, we're right in the center that's it right there okay. um, mm-hmm. because if I were to say to you uh, yeah, 10 years ago 20 years ago what was that like central like you know magnetic Time's area great. in well I was gonna say in DC um, you maybe would have like two or three but now I ask you that question, like uh, pick one. Like yeah, yeah it's I mean, like, it's like, well, it depends right. on what you're looking like, for. You yeah, know, what, what type? What, what, what's your feel? What's well, your it was vibe? Dupont last week, but now it's the war. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. So I think that's what really what you're going to see in Tyson's. You're going to see a very. You're going to see several different like centers that emerge. I mean, Burrow is going to be transformational because nothing like that's ever existed in Tyson's. Yeah. So that's going to be really interesting. But then you have what's you know what's being uh, what's what's planned or proposed for Tyson's West and like that you know. And that that's going to be incredible potentially. Right. Tyson's East as well with what uh, Capital One City Line, Scotts uh, Run, Scotts Run, all that. I mean, it's it's really you're you're, you're going to see at a very minimum four. But mm-hmm. you know, I, I really think that at the end of the day, it's going to be eight. I mean, every one of those communities is going to have its own. It's going to be popular. Well, it's going to have its own niche in, yep. in a certain way. Yeah, on Greensboro Drive, a Meridian alone is on fire. Oh yeah, they, are. they just bought the NADA yeah. building. They totally get it. And yeah, yeah it uh, it's wild. We'll talk yeah. about somebody that, that place that believes in the transformation. No. Of places. Oh yeah, yeah. no, it's, they're they're putting their money where their mouth is. Yeah. Yeah. that's right. Yeah, and exactly. they've been extremely yeah. successful with the bus, right? They signed KPMG. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. They got the movie theater in yeah. there. Um, what are some of the retail that's going in? Do we do you know? I mean, so where what's the latest? I know that the uh, the owner of Fish Taco, yeah. I think, is actually opening a Fish Taco uh-huh. there, which is near and dear to my heart because it's where I take my kids all the time because my daughter only eats beans and rice, and they have great beans and rice. <laughs> nice. It's right down the street from us. But they were like a Bethesda brand that popped up, but they're coming out here. Um, do you know any others? My eye doctor. Your eye doctor. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Well, convenient. That is. It's funny because those are not prescription glasses. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. But I'm style. not going to buy bags for my car. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, it's, you uh, nailed it. Yeah. You She's nailed gonna, it. She's going to kill me for that. Yeah. 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 Nailed it. Yeah. I just wear them to look smart. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's working. Uh, yeah. 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 You look fantastic. Put those well, on Chad. Yeah. Exactly. I need all the help I can get. So, well, let's do some Tyson's trivia. Absolutely. How about that? I would love to put you guys in the hot seat. Oh, All right. Right. Here, um, goes. here we go. Interesting question. Which major brand opened its first retail store in Tyson's? Now I have five options: REI, Macy's, Apple, Tesla, or Armani. REI. REI. Wow. And I, wait a second. What was the question again? Right. Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Which because, major brand opened its first retail store in the world in Tyson's? Of of those listed, REI, Macy's, Apple, Tesla, Armani. I'm gonna go. And I, REI is clearly. Wrong. I'm going Armani. I misunderstood Armani. the question. Do you wanna? Do you wanna? I'm gonna go with answer? Tesla. Tesla, the answer is Apple. You just wanted to say yeah. Tesla first of yeah, all. Right. I was going to pick Apple You're next. always talking about Tesla. Their first ever retail location. Yes, yeah. and if you don't yeah, believe us, there's a video of Steve Jobs doing opening. his, wearing essentially what I'm wearing today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> opening the door. You said it this before. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 He beat but, you to it. But he said, he said, he said, here I am today. I think it was like 90 or 91. Like you're, the, you're even talking like him. Go on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. I practice. I practice around the mirror every single night. Yeah. So he's like, you know, I'm here at the Tyson. Tyson's Corner Mall yeah, he um, in McLean, you know, so it's, it's we, we call <laughs> like, it Tyson's, but what, what, yeah, yeah, right. I, I believe that was, um, yeah, I think was it was it? 90, 91. Yeah, I think so. We'll send you the video. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, well, I didn't even realize Apple had a store in 1990. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Full disclosure, it might have been 2000, but I, I'm pretty oh, sure you know it was what? that. Yeah, it might yeah. have been 2000. Yeah, okay. Now I think about it. But the, the, that's, not a, that's not a mistake. It's not a mistake that Tyson's chose, chose this market. I mean, some of the best performing um, stores within these major retail brands are in Tyson. Tyson's, yeah. Uniqlo is a great example. Their first store was not in the store. Is awesome, DC. by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, this is plug to Uniqlo. You <laughs> yeah. Know, if you want to get another sponsor. 
But no, they chose Tyson because Same it's such a Spanx. strong market. Spanx really? other grocery retail stores well, Tyson's Corner Center. You know, not to get too far down this this path, but you hear over and over and over how malls are imploding across the country. There's something like I don't even know what the number. It's hundreds yep. upon hundreds yep. of malls. Malls that are have a been thing of the past. Yep. Is what yeah, you hear all the time. Now. Malls are a thing of the past. Tyson's hasn't even experienced a ripple. Not you at know, all. and it not not even yeah. a speed bump. It yeah. is as busy as it's ever been. And it's because and they can, are ahead of the curve. Yes. Like with the plaza experience. How yes. It, like saying what we all stated. Well, about that mall's that busy plaza. all it's day, packed. every day. Yeah. yeah. And we're, we're over there for lunch, coffee. Yeah, because right. our building's on top of the mall. So yeah. it's yeah. easy. Our, our office right. is in the mall. I mean, we, we yeah. saw firsthand. Like if they were losing customers this holiday season, we would have recognized I, it. I didn't notice it. Yeah. yeah. So on average, annually, the mall, the Tyson Corner Center Mall has 30 million visitors every year, which is more than Disney World. That's a trivia question. And people do come town. from out of town. Oh, absolutely. just for Tyson. Yeah. I know there's definitely the uh, I forget the term, but like with, where people will the, travel internationally yeah. just uh -huh. for shopping. They will the destination book shoppers. the destination shop. They'll book hotel rooms. They stay the at the Ritz. Ritz. Or the Ritz. Right, the Ritz and the they Hyatt. They'll shopping. have guests for six months at a time. Yeah. We'll have a guest room just for their shopping. Retail guests. tourism, right, right. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, it's it really You're is smiling. That's a good problem to have. Right there. <laughs> Must be nice. Good yeah. God. <laughs> no, but they what they what what Mace Rich has done and. Um, with, and Brookfield. And, and Brookfield, where they're just basically they're transforming what has been kind of the, the perception of this area that, that for many has been negative into something that has, is really just like a paradigm shift in terms of like what is the mall experience now. And what they've done is they've kind of created like a brick and mortar Amazon where mm -hmm. like you can work, you can live and be within like an arm's reach of almost anything you'd want from a retail or restaurant experience. Um, and you know, just proof is just going and looking at the people there. I mean, and to give the job. Galleria a shout out. I mean, yeah. the urban space, if you haven't been there, yeah. which took over the Isabella Eatery, fantastic. Great. All it so really is. Dynasty. They did an amazing yeah. job yeah. on yeah. that. And now that they'll, you know, the Macy's is going to, you know, go away and we'll have a new movie theater there and it will be a whole new experiential yeah. opportunity for people to come to Tyson's. And yeah, have I was so just there earlier options. today. I mean, I had, I had uh, coffee there. It's packed, you know, at, at the urban space and they're, a, a brand that's been very successful in in uh, New started York. in London and, 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 yeah. then New, and then New York and now Tyson. That's the big one up on the top floor uh -huh. that took over the whole plan. Uh -huh. Well, the other one that we like, Urban Plates, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes. which is exactly. a great, great, great restaurant. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of like your mix between a cava and sitting down at yeah. a Eddie yeah. V's. It's like you get an entree salad or chicken dish. But it's you know and kind of, of wine. and a glass so, of wine, <laughs> but but with the fast concept where you wait in line yes. and they prepare it. And the so food's yeah. fantastic. It's, it it's really amazing. Is. I just want to point concept. out that this conversation we're having, like a foodie type conversation, we're having about places in Tyson's. This didn't happen ten years yeah. ago. Right. right. Just this, ten years this, this ago, there would never be there would never, be, there would never right. be like a sidebar conversation about cool. Places yeah, it was in Capitol Tyson's. Grill and Starbucks. And yep. yet here we are. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. All right, hit me with another one. What else do we have? Okay, so we botched the first one. What? When did the U.S. Census officially drop the corner in Tyson's Corner? Two thousand sixteen. Wait, sixteen and seventeen. It was November twenty fifteen. So oh. very close. Yeah, I was closer. Wow, you were closer, but we were both <laughs> over. So yeah, I knew it was we're around. Lost. I knew it was right around Christmas. Yeah, I was fifteen. Yeah. No, I was on the wrong be, side oh, of Christmas. Oh, is that what you thought? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. pretty I, sure. I do respect the strategy. It's just like yell out all the answers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I said that. Well, yeah, was, well, at least I we was, didn't say like yeah. ninety six or yeah, right. two thousand and four. <laughs> we were close. We right. knew it was like. <laughs> well, I, I knew it was around. I was trying to think back when they started. The signs started popping up. Oh uh, yeah, the yeah. Tyson signs. Yeah, yeah that's right. You know, and that was actually a shout out to my colleague Drew Sunderland who made that happen. Well, yes. Well, Representative Jerry Connolly in his office were instrumental in that. To lobbying, yeah. it was a, one of those things where it's like you a can of worms in terms of like, well, okay, we're not a municipality, and the county wants us. You know, county has agreed to work with us to rebrand Tyson's. Like, how complicated could this be? The answer is it's really hard, especially in the digital yeah. age where you have to make sure that all these various maps yeah, are everyone's updated. Everyone's checking in on yeah. the phone. Uh, where and they are. because like digitally, like what defines a place? Like it's what's on your phone. Like when I either tag myself somewhere or I'm looking on a map. So in order to get all those databases updated, we had to we had to go to the highest source for like all geographic data, which is census and then you know the postal, postal as well. Um, and it required like lobbying by Jerry Connolly, who's a huge champion of everything Tyson's, um, to get it done. So everyone 
Tyson's. Mm -hmm. For, we, we, we can, we can Not Tyson's them. Corner. Tyson's yeah. Corner is the mall. We're, we're, we're pro Tyson's Corner, but that's, that's just right. We're Tyson's. cutting yeah. corners to the yeah. future. Yeah. Sure, uh, nice. Yeah. 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 America's like next that. great yeah. city. Yeah. 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 Make Tyson's great again. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love it. All right, good. So can we hit you guys with a couple? Or, or do you have any more? She, um, has, she has more than you. Since we're she's going to be like, well, you guys don't know anything. Can we keep so going? Give him a song. Yeah, give him a song. Give him a song. Put one T for us. Ask him how to spell Tyson's. Capital T. Is there an apostrophe? Before the Beltway and before Tyson's Corner Center, Tyson's used to be a dot, dot, dot. A, pine tree forest. B, chicken hatchery. C, peach grove. I know there were a gas station in Cal's. Talking like the 60s. Do you guys want a hint? It rhymes with beaches. Yeah, what is yeah. that? <laughs> I was going to say think Georgia. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so let's beach. go with yeah. C. We're going yeah. with beaches. Yes, right. yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right. all right. All right. All right. And on top. Yeah. 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 We got an A. We got an A. Peach Grove Huge. Farm. And actually yeah. the... The name Tyson's Corner came from Mr. Tyson's Market, which was at Route 7 and 123. That's right, and that the was, literal that corner. Was the, you know, that was the town square. Corner. Back right, then. that's the famous yeah. picture that uh -huh. you see yes. all over. That's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. On our website, it's it's mind blowing just to look like what it was not that long ago. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. The right. intersection of two dirt roads. Uh -huh. Yep, that's exactly. insane. Right. Wow. Do a 40. Eight million square foot. Uh, to the audience, they're basically a gas can to take children. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. So exactly. I love well, well, like I said, equally. there's no way to do all this. Great. How, about, how about this? Where's the most recent place that you had lunch? Uh, well, actually, Clyde's and Reston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. you know, every once in a while, you need to go to other yeah. markets yeah, yeah, for a little right, right. research. Yeah. Well, yeah. The yeah. Well, fun fact is that I used to be a waitress at Clyde's and Reston yes. back in high school. No so, kidding. Uh, nice. And he wow. was really bored with all my knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. That's awesome. It's until you smartened up and came to Tyson's. But, uh -huh, but right. in terms of Tyson's, actually, I think it was American uh, Tandoor, right? Oh, yeah. It was the last uh -huh. time we had like a staff. Yeah, they're yeah. really good Indian food. Really good. And it's not a chain. And many people think they are. Local, yeah, and written up in the post is you know being one of the best Indian restaurants. Yeah. In the Their food is fantastic. Yeah. yeah really good. It's amazing. Uh -huh. It's good. Well, awesome. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I mean, we don't want to keep you guys here all day, but we greatly appreciate you coming over. Yeah, of sure. Is there, is there anything we missed? Well, I have anything a question. We want to talk it's about. kind of a okay. seat question. Well, awesome. So we have all these amazing board members who have raised their hand to be part of the change in Tyson's, oh, oh, and I oh. feel like there's the void of this one company that has this big office in the Tyson's Tower and is having this amazing oh, podcast yeah. and platform of sharing the story. Do they have a logo there, and a hashtag? Yeah. There's, a, there's another group that has a podcast at so, Tyson's so, Tower? <laughs> so can I just, I'm going to put, Megan's just like really good at her job. Like, don't take this personally. Like, she does. Shh. Okay, sorry. So, um, <laughs> 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 okay, would you just say yes? <laughs> Wonder if you guys would be interested in joining our board. I think I yeah. think we'd love to. We would yeah. love to do yeah. that. That's we, would, we would love to do it. That sure. would be awesome. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You heard it here first. I mean, it's yeah. on. I, we, have, we appreciate nine, the nine camera set up, so the, yeah. there's no backing out. Yeah. We're we, board we members. Do. Yeah. 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 Well, there's yeah. A, there, right. There's always <laughs> see. There's always posts, you know, you can just conveniently, you know, dub over or whatever. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. we, we, it exactly. Right. Yeah, that. yeah, right. That is so, very cool. Yeah. yeah, so we'll talk about the details yeah. later. Yeah. All right. An hour a month. <laughs> Offline. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't know there'd be any math at this event. <laughs> well, so yeah. After, so. after being hit up, I will say thank you guys so much for your interest in Tyson's. We we, we are always happy to talk on behalf of like our favorite, uh, you know, downtown. Uh, a new downtown, but um, it's really it's really great to see people interested in this process, and it's like it's very filling to see that energy that you know we've had for a number of years, but now sure. people you know we're finding it's infectious. So thanks so much for reaching out to yeah, us. Really it's a great place. We're big it. believers. Well, thank you very much, guys. We really appreciate it. We'll thank see you at the you. next board meeting, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Let us know. Wow. Yeah. By the way, Paul's not allowed out past six, so <laughs> yeah, right. we're going to have to do the. I saw lunch. you in yeah. rolls last night. No. That, that's that's, right. that's 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 true. That's right. true. We'll be at the board meeting. Maybe we'll wear a tie. Yeah. yeah. Right. Maybe we'll go just go job just, style. Yeah. It works perfectly. I need a turtleneck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>